<laughs> Welcome to Perry Cunel. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are, whatever time it is. Sending love and positive energy and kisses to everyone out there. Thank you so much for joining us back here at Barry Q Nails. Um, as you saw from the title, I'm doing a Beetlejuice inspired set um, on my right hand. I'm going to be using the Forever Beauty Primer, which is really a dehydrator. And the Young Nails Protein Bond, which is, you know, the double-sided sticky tape. Really, it keeps that um, acrylic or whatever you're using really helps it adhere to the natural nail. And using the Fizanist, Fizanist <laughs> clear rubber-based coat to apply the tips using my Savvy Land Flash Lamp. So we are going to be doing it based on the movie Beetlejuice. I love this movie. It is one of my favorites since I was young. And I'm very excited. I haven't seen the new one yet. If you have seen the new one, what do you think? Leave a comment below. So as you can see, we're flash curing to get these tips on. This one was a little crooked, so I had to fix it. So we are going to be using Kiara Skies Clear to put that over my natural nail just to protect from any of the color acrylic that I'm going to be applying. If you do not do this, you will get some staining depending on what color you use on your natural nail. And it really does stain. <laughs> so I'm using my Kiara Sky number 10 brush that I just got. I love it. It's so fantastic. And also, mind you, this is, I'm working on my dominant hand, so I'm working with my non-dominant hand. So I'm doing my best. <laughs> Now that we get that all done, I'm using the Forever Beauty in Extremely Black, and we are going to apply that to the tips of all the fingernails. some Beetlejuice trivia from the original movie. Did you know that Tim Burton butted heads with the studio executives? Because they liked the title Beetlejuice, but actually wanted to change it to House Ghost. That apparently it tested better with test audiences. He suggested calling it Scared Sheetless. You get it? Sheetless? So he actually said, while they were actually considering it, they liked it. He'd rather jump out of a window than it being called that. And they landed on Beetlejuice.
right, so now we are taking Bella Bella from Forever Beauty, which is this beautiful purple. And we are going to be using that on the actual natural nail bed. And we're going to be ombre it down over the black. So now I'm going in with my Forever Beauty base coat and I'm applying that to all the nails. I think they actually look very nice as is, but you know, I really wanted to emphasize the Beetlejuice. So as you can see, I've got some foils and I'm applying this base coat to all my nails and we're going to use some tweezers to apply some color of these foils onto the nails. So as you can see, I opened up the green box and the green resembling Beetlejuice's hair. I think it's so cool. Because that character, Michael Keaton did such a fantastic job on that original movie. All the actors did. They were all fantastic. Nona Ryder, Catherine O'Hara, everybody. So now we're going in with some silver and placing that with the tweezers over or to the side of the green. And I'm thinking this is going to tie it all together, giving me that white, black and white sensation without using black and white. So I'm using the silver. And I don't know, I think it came out cute. Some more trivia from Beetlejuice. Did you know that Catherine O'Hara was not the original person cast to play Lydia's mother? It was actually Angelica Houston, the lovely Angelica Houston, the gorgeous, legendary. She couldn't do it because she was sick. And the role ended up going to Catherine O'Hara. But you know what? Great decision because she made that part legendary.
uh, so now I'm going in with the Forever Beauty Clear and now I'm going to be clear capping and basically using this to help fix any lumps or bumps that might be left in the nail, any dips, and we're just going to encapsulate all of this. my loves have you subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button like the video share the channel turn on those bell notifications or a google is gonna come after you or the boogeyman Hey my love, so while we're here doing this, um, I would love it if you can share the video on your community tabs or on your social media. We're trying to keep these numbers going up and up and up. Honey, that next goal of a thousand is going to come quick. I know. We hit 500, I think a couple weeks ago. We're at almost 600. Thank you all so, so, so much from the bottom of my heart for supporting, being kind, being genuine and it's much appreciated.
so now it's filing time I'm using a 6060 grit nail file along the sides to get that straight look along my lateral nail bed and then I'm going to go in with my 5-in-1 cuticle bit to just clean everything and make it look a little more seamless Here we do take my sanding band and I just do that over all the nails just to get them nice and even. Now I saw this trick on Instagram or YouTube, I don't remember. Um, it might have been Tao from Not Polish, but she was like, put cuticle oil on the nails and then buff. And uh, since I started doing this, I feel that it leaves such a smooth, crisp looking finish. and. I don't know, so I have these little disposable small buffing blocks that I got off Amazon, and I just use that. So, again, thank you so much, you guys. We're going to keep on going, moving on up. Thank y'all so much for being here and supporting. It's much appreciated. Um, I also am sorry. I'm a, I'm a little hoarse. I don't know if I'll catch anything. I hope not. Ugh. So we are going in with that base coat again of Forever Beauty's gel and put doing that on all the fingers and curing for a full 60 seconds. Actually, um, after the video was done, I was looking and I was like, mm, I'm not really a big fan of that little rounded edge on these coffin tips from Enel Couture. So I ended up, you know, making them flat at the tip. 
So I waited a couple minutes to let that top coat cool off, make sure those molecules stop moving, and that will leave you in a beautiful shiny top coat and will allow the cuticle oil to not stay, it just runs right off. Again, thank you so much for being here. I think it is so exciting that Halloween is coming up. I love this time of year. I hope you're all doing amazing. Again, sending love and light to all of you. Pushing that positive energy out to all of you. Peace out. Unpleasant dreams.